So today I want to talk about how you can create rounded images on a web page. So I've got this sample page that I put together where I've got a series of cards, I've got some CSS doing the rendering, building the layout, and each of these cards has an image in it. Now I've used CSS to make the images fill 100% the width of every one of the cards, but how would I change this so these images just appear like little circles inside of each one of these? So that's what we're going to look at right now. If we open up this style here, um, or actually just before I jump into that, uh, if you're looking to get images, this is a great place. Uh, randomuser.me, you can get a bunch of free images for that, or there's an actually an API that you can use to create user data and some other things. So I've downloaded just six images randomly here and I've got those inside of an image folder at the same level as index.html. If you look in the description, you'll see a link to the code gist where I've got the images and the HTML file. You can download those and recreate what we've got here. Okay, the HTML, there is a series of six divs. Each div has the class card. This isn't a keyword or anything, it's just the class name that I gave it. We've got an image and then the paragraph with some lower MIP, some text. Now, in the CSS, what we're going to do here is uh, border box for the box sizing. We're going to style this so that we have the padding included and the border included in the total width. That's why we do this. Just makes it easier for calculating dimensions. In the HTML, um, just some default fonts and background colors for the page. The main element, this is the container for those six cards. I'm using display flex to turn them into a grid. Basically, it's one long row that wraps around when it gets to the end. So I've got three, and then the next three go to the next line. If there were more, they would go to the next line, and so on. Uh, I've got a default gap of one REM. That would be 20 pixels between each one of the cards. And my main element is always going to be 80% the viewport width. Okay, the cards, getting into this. So we're talking about the actual dimensions for these cards right here. 20% um, the viewport width, uh, and I don't want it to shrink or grow. I always want it to be that size. Border on the card, display flex, making it into a column. And that means that this element and this element are always going to sit one on top of the other. And this paragraph will be against the bottom edge. This image is going to be against the top edge. So if for some reason there was spacing put in there, they're always going to try to uh, put the space between them. Moving on to the images, we have here a default width of 100% uh, height auto. So whatever the aspect ratio is, this is going to maintain it. And I don't have any or padding or margin here. I'm going to play with these properties to show you what effect they have. And I've put a background color. This is behind the image. So right now I don't see anything. But if I were to change this, if I was to come in here and say, with my padding, I'm going to add two REMs. So 40 pixels worth of padding. Now I get to see the blue. So with that box sizing, the padding's included as part of that 100% width. I'm pushing the image in 40 pixels away from the edge. If I was to add margin, let's do the same amount. We'll say two REM margin. I can't push in on the sides. The margin on the left and right is just going to spill out. It's going to go outside this box because of flex box because we've got the width set to 100%. So it's taking up 100% of the card. Margin's going to go out beyond that. Padding, margin on the bottom, padding, and margin on the top like this. So moving on to that rounded part. If I want to round things, we can say here that I'm going to use border radius. This is the property that we want. If I did the same amount, the two REM, so 40 pixels, I still have this padding here. My image is inside there. So if I want to round the image, I'm going to have to get rid of the padding because I want this rounding to apply to the image itself. And this gap, I'm going to work on getting rid of that as well, but let's get rid of the padding for now. So in my padding, we're going to set that back to zero. I'm not going to see the background color. There's the rounding. And if I was to change this, instead of two REMs, so one REM is 20 pixels, that's my default font size. Two REMs, 40 pixels, 
So if I was to go from this edge in 40 pixels and from the bottom in 40 pixels, that point to right here, that radius is 40 pixels. That's the radius of the circle that I'm creating here. All right, let's change this from that to 50%. This will measure the size of the image and make it 50% of the image. That's what gives me the circle. Now I still have some issues here. I've got, this is touching the left and right sides. I don't like that. And I've got this big gap on the top and bottom. So let's get rid of the margin first. That'll get rid of the gap on the top and bottom. And then we can work on evenly spacing it all the way around. All right, so margin, we'll set it to zero. All right, now I've got no gap anywhere around, but I don't like doing this. It's, it's not a good design if you are having images that touch the edges of background color changes or if the images are touching text that's just a bad thing to do so we want to bring this image in without having to use padding or margin so how am i going to do that well the width if i change this to 80 percent now i've brought it in so i'm 80 percent of this width the height is auto, so it's automatically going to be the same height, but I don't have margin. So I do want to put back a little bit of margin on the top and the bottom, but I want to make sure it's the same as this. Now, with what I'm doing right here, my width is 80%. What was the width of the card? 20% of the viewport width? Well, if I'm 80% of that, it means I've got 10% on either side. 10% of this would be 2VW, 2% 2 of the viewport width. So my margin, if I say 2VW, 2% 2 of the viewport width on the top and the bottom, and then nothing on the left and right, the width on the left and right, that's what's going to give me the proper width. And we can say margin auto here. I mean, we are saying a line at center to center the image, but I'm going to say margin auto as well here with the 2% on the top and bottom. Now I have... <clears throat> I have what I'm looking for. I've got this image. It's made into a circle. It's centered. I've got the same amount of space on all four sides. And that's our end product. That's what we were looking to do. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about what I put together here, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.